Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with the, the last of the series from the second round of my round robin um, tournament. And that will be the 1990 Reds going up against the 1984 San Diego Padres. Both teams were very close in in actual record for the for that uh, particular for those particular years. The 1990 Reds were 91 and 71, and the 1984 Padres were 92 and 70, giving them the slight edge as the home team in this um, in this uh, second round matchup. The winner here it's a best of five series. I want to remind everyone, and the winner here will advance to the um, semifinal round of three teams. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm using a traditional um, score sheet today, and I will also be using the scoreboard, as you can see over here. So you can follow on the scoreboard. Um, hopefully I will keep that updated as we go. I'm hoping to be able to do that, but it's a lot of moving parts for me. But anyway, uh, we're going to lead off with Billy Duran and pitching today for the Padres, the home Padres, will be Tim Lawler. Tim Lawler in 1984 was 11 and 13 with a 391 earned run average. And he gets a 6 6, which is a walk. So uh, Bill Duran. Leads off with a walk, and the Reds were very good at stealing bases, so um, they will, uh, let's see, let's mark that down, and, and he does make it, that's a two, there's no buddy in the universe that uh, will throw him out on that, so Duran with a stolen base, and now Duran is at second, with one down, or with no down, no nobody out, and Barry Larkin up. And he gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball shortstop A, so that's one away. And he gets, he's out 6-3. to three. And that brings up Hal Morris. Big Hal Morris, the first baseman, gets a 3-6, which is a single double asterisk, and scores a run. So he gets a single and an RBI. Uh, Hal Morris. So they're ahead, one nothing, and Hal Morris is a stealing B, but he's not going to go as a B. There's one down, and Chris Sabo is up, and he gets a five eight. And that is a strikeout. So he goes he goes down. And that brings up Eric Davis. And Eric Davis gets a 6-7. That's a walk. A lot of walks on uh, Lawler's card. And Paul O'Neill's up, and he gets a 3-6, which is a walk, and the bases are loaded with reds. And uh, we've got some control problems here, apparently, from uh, Mr. Mr. Lawler. The bases are loaded with reds, and Hatcher up, and he gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball shortstop A. So he's out 6-3, and that does... Um, complete the inning for the Reds. Alan Wiggins comes up and he gets a 2-9 and that's a fly to left field one away and by the way pitching for the uh, well first of all let's record this fly out to 7 pitching for the Reds is Jose Rio and Tony Gwynn is up he gets a 2-10 which is a ground ball pitcher A so he's out um, one to three, and that's two away, and Steve Garvey's up, and he gets a three five, which is a fly ball to center field, so he flies out to eight, 
and no runs come in for the Padres. We go to the top of the second. And the Reds left off with Herm Winningham, who today is the left fielder for the uh, Reds. And he gets a 2-7, which is a single. The Reds are all over Lawler. And uh, that's the second hit for the Reds. And let's update this. Zero, and then so far zero. And uh, second hit allowed. And he's a B. He's going to stay there. Joe Oliver's up. He gets a 312, which is a line out to shortstop. So there's one away. And he uh, he lines out to Templeton at short. One down and Billy Duran back up and he gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball shortstop B. And now he is the guy that's on by a fielder's choice. And he will try to steal again. And this time it's a 15, and the catcher is Terry Kennedy. And Terry Kennedy is a negative one, so they do gun him out. He's gone. He is He's thrown out. So we'll mark that down. And uh, they get no runs there, and we go to the bottom of the second. No runs for the Reds, and up comes Kevin McReynolds for the Padres. And he gets a 5-6, which is a double 1-10 to 10 or a fly ball. But it is a double. So McReynolds is up at second. And that's the first hit for the Padres. And that brings up uh, Nettles. That's, in fact, the first guy on, on base. Nettles gets a 5-6. That's a double 1-10. to 10. Could be scores the man, and it does. So Nettles, back-to-back -back doubles. So we'll write that down. RBI for Nettles. And a hit allowed. Another hit allowed and an earned run. And the Padres tie the game just like that. And they still have a man at second with no outs and Carmelo Martinez up. And he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. So there's one away. That's the first strikeout for Rio. Gary Templeton's up. He gets a 211, which is a ground ball second base A, so there's two away. And he's out four to three. And Terry Kennedy comes up. He gets a 28, and that's a strikeout. But the tying run does come, come across for the Padres. We go to the top of the third. And the leadoff hitter is Barry Larkin, and he gets a 3-9, which is a single. Another hit, yet another hit, given up by um, by Lawler. And Larkin is an A. He'll try to steal second. And he's 17. He's gunned out by Kennedy. So the Reds may be running themselves out of this game. Hal Morris is up. He gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout. So that's two away.
and Lawler with his only his second strikeout and Chris Sabo up and Chris Sabo gets a 6-9 which is a fly ball to center field so he flies out to eight and no runs come across that brings up Luis Salazar for the Padres here in the bottom of the third inning And that's a 4-10, which is a fly ball to right, one away. Alan Wiggins is up. He gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout, two away. Rio getting his third strikeout of the game. And Tony Gwynn is up, and he gets a 2-2, which is a foul out to the catcher. And so the Padres go down, one, two, three, right there. No runs in the third. We, Eric Davis is up. He gets a two, seven, which is a strikeout, one away. And that is the third strikeout for Lawler. O'Neill's up, he gets a one, nine. That's a strikeout, two away. Looks like Lawler wants to K the side and make it so that his his teammates can go down and try to get another run. Hatcher gets a 5-11 ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman for the um, Padres is Steve Garvey, and he is a two. And that is a 17, probably an out, and it is. So Hatcher is out in one game very close steve garvey up he gets a one five that's a line out to short one away brings up kevin mcreynolds and kevin mcreynolds gets a ground ball to the shortstop so he's out six to three and that brings up the main man, Greg Nettles, and he gets a 6-4, and that's a ground ball to the shortstop. Larkin is a 1. That's a 16. I'm going to guess that's probably an out. As Red Barber would say, tighter than a new pair of shoes on a rainy day. Herm Winningham is up in the um, top of the 5th. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's a walk. That 6 column, not very good for Lawler. Not very, uh, he doesn't want them in that column too much today. And as a result, he has walked his fourth man. And that brings up Joe Oliver, 6-5. Again, you don't want that. Six, it's a single one to 18. And that is going to be a single. So the Reds this time not running themselves out of the inning. And that's a hit for the, uh, another hit for the Reds. And we have runners at first and second. I'll try to keep that updated too, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, there are two men on, though, with no outs. And Billy Duran up. He's been on all day, but he strikes out here. One away. Lawler with his fifth strikeout. Larkin comes up. He gets a 3-6, which is a double one to eight or a single. And that will be a double and knock in another run. And the Reds don't want to run themselves out of anything. So they are not going to, um, and loads the bases. Hal Morris walking. So Sabo is up, and he gets a 6-4, and that is a catcher card. And that will be Kennedy. Kennedy with a 20. And, uh... He is a catcher three, so catcher three and 20 is roll again. 
That's a two and a three, and that's an out on dribbler. But the runners advance, and another run comes in. Sabo with a fielder's choice. And there is how many outs? There is two outs. And now I don't think that there's... Um, I don't think, I think there's just a runner at third now. And Eric Davis is up. He gets a 110. That's a ground ball pitcher B. So he's out one to three. But the Reds do strike for two runs in the top of the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth with the score three to one. Reds. The Padres, they've got to get something going here against Rio because he has been pretty good so far. 1-4 is a home run by Martinez. So he goes deep and uh, they're a little closer now. And that's going to be a hit and a run. And now it's only 3-2. And he gives up a hit and uh, a home run and an earned run. Gary Templeton's up. He gets a 4-6, which is a walk. So now we got um, Rio running into a, a few problems. And Terry Kennedy up, and he gets a 6-8, which is a fly ball left field. So that's the first out. He flies out. One down. Luis Salazar gets a 1-8, which is a pop out to third, two away. And there's two down. And Alan Wiggins is up, and he gets a 4-5, which is a fly ball center field. Fly ball center field C. So he is out. Fly out to 8. But the Padres do strike for a run and make it 3-2. to two. And there will be a new... So Greg Harris comes on in relief of Lawler. And O'Neill is the batter here in the fifth inning, no, sixth inning. Top of the sixth. Yeah. He gets a 212, which is a foul out to the catcher plus injury. That's one away. We'll Take care of the foul out. Foul out to uh, um, two. This Glenn Bragg is going to come in for the injured um, O'Neill. And he is a right field four, so the defense goes way down. And that brings up Billy Hatcher. The one thing I like about these score sheets, using the regular score sheet, is you know exactly where you are and exactly how many outs there were. Billy Hatcher gets a 112 fly ball right field, so he's out. There's two down, and that brings up Herm Winningham, and Herm Winningham gets a 6-11, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder for the Padres is Salazar, and he is a 3. That's an 18 and a 3 at outfield, and that is a roll again. And that's a 10 and a 3, and that's an out. So Herm Winningham flies out to 7. And the Reds do not score again. 
there in the sixth and we go to the bottom of the sixth with the score three to two 1990 Reds so far over the 84 Padres Tony Gwynn is up and Jose Rio is still out there pitching for the um, for the Reds and uh, Gwynn gets a 3-3 which is a fly ball right field so he's out just missed a possible triple but of course he did miss it so let's see this is the sixth yeah all right I did mess up something there but he's out and that brings up Garvey Garvey gets a 6-5. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 1, and that's a 5. So he's out 6-3. Um, and that brings up to the plate Kevin McReynolds. He gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball short. He's out, and no runs come in for the Padres in the 6th. And we go to the top of the 7th. With the Reds up, Joe Oliver coming to the plate. Harris is still out there pitching. This is only his second inning, though. Um, that's a 5-7, which is a single 1-2 to two or a line out. And that will be a line out to the second baseman for Oliver. Line out to four, and if you're wondering, Greg Harris in 1984 was 2-2 two two with a .248 earned run average, and he allowed 38 hits in 54 innings pitched. Billy Duran comes up, he gets a 6-11, that's a fly to left. The left fielder is Salazar, we've established that. He's a three, that's a two, that's going to be something. That is, in fact, a double. So there's a double for Duran, Duran. Barry Larkin's up with one down. There's a 2-5, which is a single level asterisk and knocks in a run. And that will be Larkin's second, uh, second RBI. And uh, obviously the run comes in. There's a run, so... Hal Morris up at the plate. He gets a 4-4. That is a walk. So the Reds again getting on base. All over the bases. Harris with a walk. And also we forgot one of the hits for the Reds. Sabo comes up. He gets 3-7, three, three, which is a fly ball to left. That's one away. Or, that's actually two away. Is it? Uh, yes, it is two away because um, Oliver was also out this inning. So, that is a fly out to seven. Like I said, it's a good thing I've got this sheet and I'm using this. Eric Davis is up. He gets 3-7, which is a triple one or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in a run. And now the Reds lead by 5-2. to two. Yeah. And runners at the corners with two down. And Glenn Braggs up, who is on for the injured O'Neal. 5-7 is a single one to two. And that is actually a line out to second base. So Braggs is out on his first at bat of the game. But the Reds do score um, two runs there in the seventh, and they now lead five to two. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Mills is up at the plate. He gets a 3-10, which is a strikeout. So that's the fourth strikeout for Rio. One, one down. 
Carmelo Martinez gets a 412. That is a fly ball to center field. Two away. And Gary Templeton gets a 312, which is a line out to second base. Book him, Dano. Greg Booker comes on to deal with this Reds lineup that has been all over the Padres pitching. As you can see, with eight hits and five runs going into the eighth. Billy Hatcher up. He gets a 2-3, which is a line out to second base. One out, and that brings up Herm Winningham, and he gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball right. Two away. And at the plate is Joe Oliver. He gets a 5-10, which is a fly to center. The center fielder is a 1. That's Kevin McReynolds. And that is, I believe, an out. And it is. So Oliver flies out to 8. And that ends the threat for the Reds in the 8th. We go to the bottom of the 8th. Padres up, bottom of the eighth. Terry Kennedy at the plate. Rio looking to go the distance here. Even though the Reds do have the nasty boys in the bullpen, 4-6 is a walk. So Terry Kennedy draws a walk. So let's see. Walk. And Rio. Luis Salazar comes up. He gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball shortstop A. That's a double play. So all runners eliminated. And that is a 6-4-3 double play. And with two down, that brings up Alan Wiggins. And he gets a 5-6, which is a double one to ten. And instead, that's going to be a fly ball to right. So Alan Wiggins flies out to nine. Rio has been dominant here. And no runs coming in for the Padres in the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. The Reds ahead five to two. Have a somewhat comfortable lead considering how Rio is pitching with Duran up. And he gets a one five, which is a single. So that's a hit allowed for Booker, a single for Duran, who has been really a thorn in the side of the Padres all game. Barry Larkin's up, 5-5, five, five. is a home run 1-8 to eight or a double. And that is going to be a home run, two-run home run for Barry Larkin. So that's another hit. Actually, that's another five, eight. Yeah, that was another um, two hit. And a home run and an earned two earned runs. And now they lead seven to two. Yep. And uh, the RBI was by Larkin, his third of the game on the home run. And that brings up Hal Morris. And he gets a five seven, which is a walk. They just cannot stop putting the Reds on base. And that's not really the greatest strategy around. Uh, let's see here. Walk by Booker. So Booker having a terrible outing. But at this point, what does it matter? Sabo's up. He gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball B. So there's a fielder's choice. Ground ball to third base. So that's one down and Sabo is at first. 
Eric Davis is up. He gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout, two away. So now Booker decides to come alive. And that brings up Glenn Braggs, and he gets a 5-9, which is a fly ball to right field, and Glenn Braggs is also out. And the Reds are out of the inning, but they scored two more and now have a 7-2 lead. And uh, so they're going to keep Rio out there because, now, I mean, now they don't really need the Nasty Boys in this game. Gwyn is up. He gets a 2-9, which is a walk. So we'll see if they need the Nasty Boys, but I don't like the chances of the Padres coming back in this one. How about you guys? Uh, Steve Garvey, we'll make sure we mark that it's in the ninth. He gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball shortstop, so there's two down on that double play, that 6-4-3 double play. And then Kevin McReynolds is up, and he gets a 5-3, which is a walk. So Kevin McReynolds keeps their hopes alive. And that's the fourth walk of the game by Rio. And up steps Nettles, and Nettles gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball to short, but that's Larkin. He's a 1. That's a 9. I'm going to guess that that's an out. And it is. And that is the game. Nettles goes 6-3. to three. <clears throat> And the, um, the Reds win this one. By the score of seven to two, with ten hits against only three hits for the uh, Padres, and there were no errors by either team, and so the Padres, the '84 Padres, find themselves down one game to nothing in this best of five series. This should be a good one, folks. Um, even though the first game doesn't reflect it, we'll see how they go from here. Be sure to catch game two. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off from Game 1.